Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. I just got out of class. I had um, a speech class earlier this morning. It's actually speech for acting. And um, I'm off right now. I just got out of class. But um, I just wanted to come and say hi to you guys because I'm about to do my hair. Um, as you all know, I'm in a play called The Story. I have the postcard here for you guys to see. And the play opens this week, Thursday, and it's running Thursday, um, March 11th through the 14th. And it's The Story by Tracy Scott Wilson. This is the actual script, the play, if anyone's interested, by Tracy Scott Wilson. And I just thought I would show you. I also wanted to talk to you about uh, my hair, how it's going to be for the play. Um, I was very happy when I met with the wardrobe um, consultant and the stylist um, when they told me that I, um, sh they wanted me to keep my hair natural um, because we have, I think, two other cast members whose hair is natural, but because of the character that they're playing, the characters that they're playing, they have to uh, wear wigs. And then there are three other girls who have permed hair and um, um, the stylist said that, you know, being that they wanted to show a variety of African American women that um, they could have the permed hair and then some will have the wigs and then I can wear mine natural. And she liked the fact that I had the flat twist, the two strand flat twist, so she wants me to keep that. But remember, I took those out and washed it this weekend, so I'm going to do them again right now. Saturday I washed my hair with the, uh, what did I do, wash it with Carol's Daughter Vanilla, Black Vanilla Shampoo and um, my deep condition for one hour with the um, Trader Joe's and um, yeah, I did my normal routine, um, but what I did, um, what I did use this time that was different Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. I saw this and been wanting to try it for a while, but I wasn't sure. I just, I don't know. For some reason, it just looked like something that I didn't care to try. I mean, I wanted to, but then, I don't know. But I tried it. I saw Chiselle Couture. She tried it. And I was like, let me give it a try. So, um, and my hair loves this stuff. That's what's in it now. I mean, after I wash it, I put my shea butter and my oils and stuff that I usually put that I mix together myself. But um, I tried this the following, um, did I do it the next day? I think I put it in my hair the next day when I, um, I had to go. And it, it really, it, my hair really loves this stuff. So I think I'm going to keep using this. But that's what's in my hair now. And the good thing is a little goes a long way. You don't have to put that much. And it really moisturizes your hair, especially if you put the water on it first and then you put that. It really um, does a good job on my hair at least. So I like it. I recommend that for people who were thinking about it. Um, and yeah, what I did was I just did my hair in box braids. I'm running around with, you know, rehearsals and stuff. So I just basically, see, box braids everywhere and just pinned it up, pinned it up. Box braids in the front, pinned it up, pinned it up. I did at times wear this out in a braid out right here, just this part. And then um, other times I just braid it up, put my little headband, and I'm good to go. I have quite a few headbands. I like to switch it up every now and then. This pink. I have so many headbands. So many headbands. Ugh, one just fell. Headbands. I have this thing here, my friend from Japan, Nadoka. She gave this to me. It's like a clip with some decoration and for your hair. I don't know how to use it yet, but I'll learn as soon as I get a cute outfit to go with it. I'll put it on. Um, and what do I have here today? So I'll be using my rat tail comb so I can make the lines precise and um, rubber bands to hold them. And I have coconut oil, my shea butter mix, and I have different shea butter mixes. Some are more thick than others. Some have different oils in it. It really depends on what I want for my hair for that day. And I like to switch things up. 
you know, just to keep things different. I have my black oil, black oil, my Jamaican black castor oil mix. It's mixed with a couple of other oils and a fragrance that I like and works well with my hair. And um, I just thought I'd show you something else that doesn't have anything to do with hair, but horror movie classics. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a huge horror movie fan. And I saw this and I just had to get it. And I love old black and white movies. And um, this has 10 classic horror films, Hotel Horror, The Last Man on Earth, Dementia 13, that movie is good. The Terror, The Cabinet of Dr. Gallagheri. House on Haunted Hill, Night of the Living Dead. It has so many different films on it. So when I have some downtime, I'll definitely be watching this. But I'm so happy I got this. And look, I didn't know when I bought this, but when you press this button. Isn't that cool? Yeah, but I just thought I'd share. So I am going to be doing my hair and I'll try to keep you updated on the process. I know I got uh, some messages and email. I know that sounds scary, right? I got um, message. <sighs> that sounds so scary. <laughs> I got messages and stuff um, of people asking me to please show them in more detail how I do my hair. So I got the camera propped up on something. I don't have a tripod yet, but I think it's good now that my hands are free and I could try to show you what I'm gonna do. But basically I'm taking all of these out. That's what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on the process, okay? Bye.